was up in the third, crashed off the racetrack. Well, he rode off the racetrack. He didn't really crash. He never laid it down. Got back onto the surface in around 10th position and has meticulously picked his way back through the field. Past the halfway point now, he sits right there in fourth position, challenging to get up on the podium. You know, it just shows the maturity of Jamie Hacking. He kind of just picking them, picking them off one at a time, long laps, not many laps, but they certainly are long. And it just shows how much improvement they've made on this Kawasaki, as we were talking about. You know, that's why this racetrack, again, is so great because... I mean, look at that. You can see the rubber actually coming off the tire as he accelerates. The tire is spinning pretty much all the way down the straightaway, and you can see the movement of that rear tire as he goes down. But Jamie Hacking, you know, the improvement they made on this motorcycle with the steering as well as getting the power to the ground, and look how stable it is. He's making it look pretty easy. He sure is, and he's getting more and more happy with that bike each and every weekend. Talking with him about it earlier this weekend, he says, boy, this one thing I don't need is more power. He says, I got all the power I can handle out of this big Kawasaki. I just need to get it to turn a little bit better, especially from side to side. And here he comes, and here's the power of the Kawasaki in action as he goes right past Yates and into third. And now looking to the inside outside with Hodgson. Oh, and Yates got back by him. Yeah, he ran in there. He was really deep, and at that speed, a small mistake as Aaron Yates looking on the oh, inside. Oh, boy, they, the, they hit each they other. They did, absolutely. Yep. This is a tremendous fight now for second place between these three riders. And here comes Hacking again, inside of Yates for third. Yeah, that was a lot better. He, had, he got such a draft on the first time when he passed Aaron. Going down in turn one, he couldn't make the corner. But what helped him there was when Aaron Yates kind of touched the back of Neil Hodson. That allowed Jamie Hacking to get a great drive and make that pass look pretty easy. Great job by Hodgson and Yates to keep those yes. machines upright. Yeah, because at that corner, they're probably on the exit there. They're running about 120 miles an hour. Hacking looking inside. He's got Hodgson. That'll put Jamie Hacking to second, but Neil's not done. And the Honda rider comes right back to take second away. Here comes a Cowie. Back up the inside through fast and faster. Boy, that's tight. That is some spectacular racing here at the AMA Superbike Championship Series as Hacking battles back to reclaim second. Looked like Neil was moving over there trying to protect his line. But again, it showed the power of the Kawasaki as he was able to just get by him. And the determination yes. of Jamie Hacking. Absolutely. He's we, coming through. We know Jamie when he feels confident and the motorcycle's working. He has shown in his championship years over the last two or three years that he certainly can get it done. Well, I don't think these three are done yet. Yates still looking pretty good on the number 20. As he's going to try to find his way around Hodgson to get himself up on the podium. Jamie Hackett. Third, tenth, back to second here at Miller.